<laughs> Which would win in a fight, Magnetic North or True North? Oh, Lord. Um, the dumbest question I've ever asked. I, it might be one of the dumbest questions ever. I think Magnetic North. Planking! Um, <laughs> I think Magnetic North would win in a fight because it keeps throwing people off. I can't contest that. I have no idea. The question itself is just so inherently stupid. Well, I don't really approve of fighting, but I'm going to beat the shit out of him anyway and then ask for forgiveness later. Is that all clouds? Hey, it's all clouds! All clouds isn't dead! Wow, we have looked for you forever! Oh my god, we've been looking for you for like 20 minutes, all clouds! <laughs> it's good to see you! Hello again, Auslander. You know, I missed your cheery optimism, all clouds. All clouds has nothing to say, but it is good to see her smiling face. It's getting a little late. We might want to make camp somewhere. Uh, why don't we just make camp up this way? I call Top Bunk! Look at this lovely view! Damn it, I should have called Top Bunk. <laughs> Top Bunk is mine! Wait, what if it starts raining? Good morning! <laughs> ah, damn it, I should have taken Bottom Bunk! <laughs> this is bullcrap! Oh my gosh. Joshua lives here? Pretend I'm not here. I don't want him to know who I am. I. Why does he not want to know who you are? I think Zoe's just embarrassed to meet Joshua Graham. Oh, okay. He is a legend after all. He's just a guy. You're back. So, what shall we talk about? You wanted me to find some things for you. Oh, took that seriously, did you? <laughs> yeah. Well, my schedule's open enough. Tell me what you found. I want to show you what I've learned about the Bloodstones. Oh, uh, the Tribals. Of course. They're vicious cannibals, and they love to kill everyone. However, All Clouds doesn't want the Bloodstones to be as brutal as Salt Upon Wounds does. She could be the leader. I don't know of her. She was behind us. But her words and your opinion are good enough for me. Do we want to tell Joshua of the brutality of the Bloodstones? Uh, I feel like then he's just going to want to kill all of them except for All Clouds. That's true, but on the other hand... The Bloodstone tribe is technically allied with the Legion. That is true. Their motto is us above all, and their attitude is brutish, selfish, and violent. And also the monolith of Yao Glai corpses seems some decent proof. That's certainly not a strike in their favor. <laughs> no, it's not. You're That's right. all I have about them. From all you've said, you seem to think that with a change of leadership, they could be less bloodthirsty, less destructive. Yeah, maybe. You remind me that all of the tribes are just living in the best way they know. Yeah. Their crimes are not calculated and deserve mercy. Depending on what I decide about the others, I think I should try and preserve the tribes. Locked horns, bloodstones, and sun and moons. Also the new Canaanites, don't forget about them! A super mutant librarian says you're a pretty cool guy. A super mutant librarian? <laughs> well, the wasteland scene's stranger, I suppose. These are interesting facts. They do push me to favor the new Canaanites. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, they're all great. The good seems to outweigh the bad here, Courier. At least in my eyes. A part of me hates them, but it's true. Despite their flaws, the New Canaanites are a good, honest, caring people. They were my friends once. Like any tribe, they can react intensely when their own are threatened, but if I do something good here, they might see. If it really comes to blows... I will fight to protect the people I once called mine. Yeah, you do that. Also, I have some information about the Legion. They are completely without redemption. Yeah, uh, so have you reached a conclusion? Looking at Zion through your eyes, I see things in a new way. My prayers weren't in vain. God sent you to me. I feel that somehow, if I turn to him and back to my people, all of this will have been okay. Sure. I might find peace. Yeah, sure, if you want. The new Canaanites are my family. The tribes and the legion may rage, but they don't matter. God has a work to do through me. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We will have to fight off the legion, and maybe the bloodstones as well. But if you help me, God might come to this valley. He might save us all. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad. Now, stopping Levius is our main concern. Well, we're a little ahead of you on that. To do that, first, I'll need your help. I'm not in a shape to walk. If you can help me recover at least a little, I can fight. Second, we need to gain forces. We need to have someone to fight Levius with. 
So we gotta heal Joshua and build an army. That's a pretty simple thing. Yeah, simple as hell. Tell me what are your symptoms. I'm a doctor. You're not a doctor. I'm a doctor. You're absolutely not a doctor. I can't feel parts of me anymore. My face, my forearms. Most of it was covered in the pitch. I mean, a lot of the time, you just gotta take faith that your hands are still there, you know? <laughs> yeah, faith, it's really, yes. it's really more of like an honor system. So, there are infections. Besides that, I'm always thirsty. And I think I probably have a concussion and some brain damage from, you know, all of it. Maybe. So, honestly, I think if you can find me some aspirin, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Not that I know what aspirin is. If you could find any of Amy Wilkes's old supplies. She was on the mission with us in the old days. Ah. Amy was like our second mother. She took care of us. She was teaching herself a whole lot of medicine, though she was really a chemist. She died in the... before I left. Yeah, it's a shame she's dead. She's not dead, though. Why no, can't I No, just tell she's him? totally dead! Never okay. coming back, Joshua. Alright, well, I'll do that. Goodbye. Amy! Amy! Well, look at you. Still alive and everything. Yeah, I'm effectively just a tardigrade. You could launch me into space and, you know, I just shrivel up into a little ball and then when I get back into the atmosphere, I just come back to life again. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Yep, except then I impact the surface at uh, terminal velocity and explode into a bunch of little chunks. I'm sorry, I, I, what were we talking about? We were oh, talking about Joshua, something. yes. Yeah, Joshua, he needs your help. Damn. You found him? How is he? What did he say to you? What does he look like? Uh, he's wrapped in bandages. Wait a minute, don't tell me. I have to see it myself. Okay. He must... I can't believe he wanted to talk to you. That he didn't kill you. I know. He's got that face, right? But look at me talking. You said he needs help? Yeah. Describe the damage to me. What are his injuries? Why don't you go see him then? He's burned alive. Can you imagine? I can treat chemical burns. I need a few things, which I'll write down for you. These are plants and local things. Most you can find wandering about, but if you want, there's a little glade those ranger bots protect. I already looted the area. Next up, for the head trauma and some of the rest... Oh, this is tricky. The sun and moons have a vault, a place they've got locked up. Yeah, we know! Yeah, I can't get in there! From what I heard, they said a healing spirit lived there. You know what that means? Probably an autodoc. If you can get what's down there... Let's just say it could improve his chances significantly. What's this about a vault? This is the first I've heard of such a thing. Yeah, I've never heard of a vault before. Clearly it's not what you're in right now, because what you're in is an airplane. <laughs> yes, of course. An airplane. You'll have to convince Bright Seer or Walks with Spirits to let you in. They're careful about their secrets, and for good reason. They lost a lot of their people when the Blackfoot tribes became legion. They're still not totally trusting of the new Canaanites. Okay, I'll be back. Go get him, Tiger. You got it. By the way, I have all the herbs right now. I picked them up before I came here. Do we really? Yeah. I appreciate you playing fetch. Real courteous of you to an old woman. Oh, this. These are perfect. You sure you don't know anything about gardening? I don't. I just... Well, anyway. Look, you say Joshua's at Angel's Landing? I'm going to make my way there. You're the one who told us that! Amy has gone to see Joshua. Yes. Now we have to try and find a way into the vault. Unless you want to try building that army now. I'm going to try to talk to All Clouds and see if she wants to be the leader of the Bloodstone tribe. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's go find All Clouds. Oh, there you are! All Clouds! Come over this way. Where we can discuss heresy in peace. <laughs> <laughs> we are here representing the Burned Man. He has a secret message for you. A secret message. But what the spirit says to the tribe, he says to the chief. Why would he wish to speak to me? The burned man is displeased with your chief's behavior. He has chosen you to be the new leader because your armor is actually pretty cool and I bet you would look good with that weird helmet. Replace salt upon wounds? No, Auslander. I cannot do that. Salt upon wounds has drunk the blood of other chieftains. She has ruled among us for years. It is your destiny, all clouds. Join me, and we will rule the galaxy as father and son. I mean, if you take salt upon wounds' place, you will become chief. It is your destiny. Is there such a thing? Are there paths we are destined to follow? Sands our feet will mark no matter what? I think I believe you, stranger. 
I believe the burned man is a great spirit, and if he wants me to lead my tribe, then I will do it. If I go back to camp, she will kill me. But I will gather the other watchers. When she calls us to fight with the bullmen, we will fight against. <laughs> the watchers salute you, Auslander. Oh, it's so much fun to sow sedition among the ranks! Shall we go to the Sun and Moon camp? What are we going to do there? Uh, get into that vault. Ah! 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 What the hell is that? <laughs> Stop it! This is the Protectron again. Hey, Mordecai, you know that guy you despise? He needs your blessing. Hello there, newcomer. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, anything I can do for you? I've come to ask if you'll give Joshua Graham a blessing. Joshua? Joshua Graham. Yeah, that guy. If this is some kind of joke, there is nothing funny about it. You're saying Joshua Graham is here in Zion's? Yes. Stop saying it with an and S. He, he wants my help? Yeah. Joshua himself said this to you. It's a sick joke. So far gone that I don't even, I don't even begin to understand it. Is that a yes? No, newcomer. You, you have got to say something. Joshua Graham is the bird man and he will die from his wounds if you don't help. Won't that make you sad? I mean, if it helps, uh, Amy Wilkes is also still alive. Everyone you thought was dead is actually alive. Yeah, they've been alive this whole time. They've been playing you for the fool. You want to come help them out? Amy alive, survived in Zion, and, and Joshua come back? This, this is a cruel twist of fate, if ever there was one. Hey, the gang's all back together. And you still don't understand, do you? Nope. Joshua is the reason for my son's death. Daniel and Joshua were missionaries together. They taught together. My son, he... He was special. You understand? Every parent thinks their kid is special. That monster incited a war that killed thousands, ended the work of God in Zion's, and left my heart and my son's body crushed under stone. Oh! And now he wants me to help him? Oh, I did not think that there was a soul black enough for hell until I knew that boy's treachery. Again, he still needs a prayer. But, but you see, it would do him no good. When all is said and done, a blessing is it's, it is done with God's power, yes. But it's enacted by faith. I cannot forgive him, you understand? How could I? God did not forgive Judas, did he? The man responsible for his son's death? People always rag on Judas for betraying Jesus, but they forgot about the part where he actually helped out, and, uh... Um... Yeah, if it wasn't for Judas, he wouldn't have died for everyone's sins! How is this Judas' fault? Yeah, Judas was a great guy, if you look past the treachery. We have been setting a good example for your daughter, Mordecai. We've barely killed anybody undeserving in front of her. And that takes a lot of restraint on our part. And if we can control ourselves and set a good example for your daughter, surely you can! There is only one who knows what I have felt. Only God in heaven knows. Yeah, nobody else has ever lost a son. But you, you're... You're right. I, I, I don't know yet if I can forgive him. But if I can save his life, I uh, give him the chance he never gave me. All right. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Where is he? Where do I need to go? Angel's Landing! The path is mostly clear. All you have to do is climb a bunch of very rickety scaffolding, jump off a cliff, land in a tree, walk past Brutus's naked floating corpse, and if you see the blue super mutant, he's pretty much marking the cave entrance. So. Yeah, he's like right by the cave entrance. We've seen fires from there. All right, newcomer. I'll meet you on the cliff then. Wait, you've seen fires from there and you didn't go to investigate? Of course not. There are crazy cultists all oh, over the place. For God's sake. How do I know that he's just not going to shoot Joshua Graham in the face once he gets there? Hey, everybody! We hey. still need access to that vault! Yeah, we still need to get into that vault. Evening. Move! Move! Oh, look who's back to life. What do you need? Oh, for God's sake. I have to go. Later. Yeah, sure. You! We hope you come in peace, visitor. I can't believe you're alive again. I blew your head off with a shotgun. That wasn't what killed you. <laughs> Just, I want to throw that one out there. That wasn't what killed you. You were already dead. I had to make sure. I did what they did to the Pope. I know you don't know about that. Maybe he has a twin brother. Do you have a twin brother who's also named... Zoe, Lord? why aren't you translating this? <laughs> I need to get in the vault. Speak with Brightseer. She visits the Deep God occasionally. 
walks with spirits. We're here representing the burned man, and he needs help to fight Caesar's legion. Yes, that! You speak with Joshua? Stranger, it has been many years. If Joshua wants to fight the legion, I would love to help. But we made a covenant, you see. Before Daniel and Joshua, we were murderers. We killed many, and we have repented. We covenanted to never raise a weapon again. I don't think that's an adjective. Adverb. I don't think that's an adverb. If you're not going to fight, maybe your children will, because they didn't make that covenant. Yeah, you must have some ten-year-olds. I'm sure you've got some disposable teenagers around here. Some shitty kids. That... I never thought of that. But yes, we do. I will ask them if they wish to fight to protect their parents and their tribe. I am glad we can offer some aid to the burned man. And he will be happy to receive it. Okay, probably. cool. I'm going to leave now. Walk safely, Outlander. Hello, Courier. I have a very important mission for you. This mission is going to be exceptionally dangerous and will task the limits of your mind. It is to give me the key to get into the fucking vault, please, ma'am. <laughs> Here, take the key. But beware, the old god lives in the deep there. We can finally get into the vault? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I uh, bet it's a land of milk and honey. My name is Birdwood, and if there's one thing I hate, it's falling off cliffs. Oh no, I disapprove of this. <laughs>